hello everyone welcome to maths class in this video i am going to solve the maths from assignment 6.1 i will uh, just help you for solving this maths but you have to solve all the maths by yourself first question sir mcq questions first question how many parallel lines are there in the capital letter e in your previous class you have learnt about parallel lines two lines in a same plane not intersecting each other are called parallel lines at the same plane er upore jodi duto line intersect na kore jodi ekta same plane er upore duto line jodi kokhono intersect na kore tahole amra sei line gulo ke amra bolbo parallel line here in this letter you can see this two line this two line line same plane and uh, these are not intersecting ei duto line intersect korche na but ei line tao intersect korche na so these three lines are parallel lines so how many parallel lines are there in the capital letter e 1 2 3 three parallel lines next the relation between mn and pq mn and pq mn and pq er moddhe relation ki hobe by observation you can say that this line segment mn is greater than pq mn is greater than pq okay next verify whether d is the midpoint of ag verify korte hobe je d ta ag er midpoint hobe kina to midpoint hoa mane ki d ta ag er ekdom middle e lai middle e लाई कर बे, सो मिडिल लाई करा मींस एडी एंड डीजी की हो बे इक्वल हो बे इक्वल होते हैं कि ना आम्रा इक्वल होते हैं कि ना फॉर चेकिंग दैट वी कैन यूज अ डिवाइडर वी कैन यूज अ डिवाइडर यूजिंग अ डिवाइडर वी कैन से दिस to ad and dg are equal or not equal if this will be equal then we can say that d is the midpoint of ag how can you check first we will measure this ad ad is this distance now we will measure dg yes ad and dg are equal so that means ad and dg d is the midpoint of ag since ad equal to dg so yes d is the midpoint of d is the midpoint of ag okay next question number 3 using a divider compare the line segments and fill in the blanks by the by using the suitable symbol greater than equal to or uh, less than so you this is a divider which you can get in your geometry box so using this divider we can um, compare the line segment in your previous class you have learned that একটা ডিভাইডার ইউজ করে আমরা লাইন সেগমেন্ট গুলো কোনটা বড় কোনটা ছোট সেটা আমরা কম্পেয়ার করতে পারি সো এ বি এন্ড বি ডি ফার্স্ট অফ অল ইউ হ্যাভ টু কম্পেয়ার এ বি এন্ড বি ডি ওয়্যার ইজ এ বি দিস ইজ এ বি এন্ড দিস ইজ বি ডি ইউ হ্যাভ টু কম্পেয়ার ফার্স্ট উই উইল মেজার দ্য লাইন সেগমেন্ট এ বি বাই ইউজিং দিস ডিভাইডার হাউ ক্যান ইউ মেজার ফার্স্ট ফার্স্ট অফ অল ইউ হ্যাভ টু put this uh, this end in on a now you have to put this end on b and this is how you can measure a line segment by using a divider ab this is ab and now you have to measure bd and this is bd so you can see say that you can uh, see that ab is greater than BD because I'm like an addict a passage a bit a length hole but BD can I'm a dick the patch is a BD a thick a joke on a act and beat a wash at she so I like 10 DK over code to let it that means BD is less than a B or a B is greater than BD now you have to compare a D and a C 
this is how you can compare the line segment by using a div, div, uh, by using a divider so ad and ac so first of all you have to measure ad this is ad this is ad now you have to measure ac you can see that this is ad and this ad is a part of ac and ac C is here. That means AC is greater than AD. AD इखाने होच्छे तो AD अमरे देखते पाची AC एक एक पार्ट होच्छे. That means AC is greater than AD. That means AD is less than AC. So this is how you can compare the line segment by using this divider. Next question number four. Name the parallel line segment. You can see here a figure. You have to name the parallel line segment. AD is parallel with BC. AD is AD the line segment AD and BC lie on the same plane and they are not intersecting. तारे intersect कोच्छे ना. अमरा inside जो तो ही increase कोडी ये टाके extend कोडी ये टाको कुनो ही intersect कोच्छे ना. That means AD parallel to BC and AB parallel to CD. This is the parallel sign. This is the sign and this is read as parallel to. Next in this figure, you have also, you can also see some parallel lines. AB parallel to CD. AB parallel to CD. A parallel to DF. A parallel to DF. BF parallel to CE. ओके, सो ए बी पैरेलल टू सी डी, ए ई पैरेलल टू डी एफ, बी ए पैरेलल टू सी, सो दिस थ्री पेयर ऑफ पैरेलल लाइंस यू कैन फाइंड इन दिस फिगर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव द एडजॉइनिंग फिगर रिप्रेजेंट्स अ बॉक्स आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन आर द प्लेन्स ए बी सी डी एंड ए बी ई एफ आर पैरेलल ए बी सी डी एंड a b e f these two this plane a b c d and a b e f these planes intersect so that means these two planes are not parallel so no will be the answer name the parallel uh, plane, plane to a c d g h this is c d g h this plane so which plane is parallel to this plane so c d g h is a parallel plane hobby a b e f because these two planes are not intersecting so the answer will be a b e f next are the planes a d g f and b c h e parallel are the planes a d g f and b c h e parallel are these two planes parallel adgf so where is adgf this is adgf and bche so these two planes are parallel okay this is a front plane and this is a back plane of this box so adgf and bche are parallel the answer will be yes Next question number six. Name the pair of line segment which are parallel in each figure given below. So in this figure, you have to find the parallel uh, parallel line segment. You know about parallel lines, so you have to find the parallel line segment of each figure. So I am not telling you this question. Next question number seven. Name the pairs of perpendicular lines in the following diagrams. Perpendicular lines. So in this diagram, what will be the uh, perpendicular lines? In this figure, you can see that this is ninety degree angle, and this is also ninety degree angle. So P is perpendicular to P Q. This is a perpendicular sign, and P S is also perpendicular to A S. Okay, P S is also perpendicular to A S. So these are two pair of perpendicular lines. But in this figure, there are no perpendicular line. There are no perpendicular line. There are no perpendicular line. Next question number eight. If lines L parallel to M parallel to N, what can you say about the lines L and N? 
this line l is parallel to m l m and this line is also par parallel l parallel to m parallel to n that means l is parallel to m and m is parallel to n that means l is also parallel to n so what can you say i can say about the line l and n that the line l and n are also parallel how many parallel lines are there in the capital letter e how many perpendicular lines ekhane perpendicular lines how many perpendicular lines are there in the parallel letter in the uh, capital letter e let us see that so this is the perpendicular line on this line and this is also the perpendicular line on this line because this line make 90 degree angle this is this also make 90 degree angle with this line so there are three pair of perpendicular lines next in the figure line segment a b and c d do not intersect each other can you say that they are parallel give reasons a b and c d if you extend this line, if you extend this line, jodi a line take a no hoy and C D line ke jodi both line camera extend kori dekte pachi jitara acta point ki intersect kochi. But in parallel lines, uh, if we extend the line, the line does not intersect. Amra parallel line ke te porechi je jodi duto line ke extend korano hai barano hai tahulu she duto line never intersect. So, but if we extend these two lines, these two lines will intersect at a fixed point. If you extend this line at a fixed point, it will intersect. That means these two lines are not parallel line. A, B and C, D are not parallel because if we extend this line, these two lines, then these lines will intersect at a fixed point. Okay, so that's why these two lines are not parallel so uh, from assignment 6.1 i have solved some question but you have to solve all the questions from this assignment and if you have any queries about any questions of this assignment you will ask me